hello everyone so in this particular video we are going to understand about the data engineer architecture and we will try to understand what is the role of data engineer and what kind of the problem they actually try to solve it okay so i will try to bring one of the architecture diagram and i will try to explain what kind of the problem data engineer try to solve it okay so let me start okay so suppose let me try to explain you about my product okay so I have one of product suppose this is the particular product which I am selling my product is like suppose this is one of the software which is my product which actually I am trying to solve and my product name is ABC and this particular product actually I am trying to solve in a subscription model so the subscription is following 99 rupees per month this is the price I am giving I am also giving 599 rupees per 6 month and also I am giving one uh, one thousand rupees per year this is the this is the subscription model actually I am following and also I am giving one of the offer like I am giving individual plan okay I am giving the family plan and also I am giving the corporate plan okay so individual only one person can use family five person can use corporate uh, many people can use so this is how the subscription model actually I am trying to follow now let us try to understand when actually this all the things are happening how actually our data is getting stored okay similarly this is one of the product similarly I have a multiple product this is also one of the product similarly I have a multiple product let us try to understand now what actually hap happening all the product related information all the product feature related information I am trying to store into this particular DB okay all the product feature related information actually I am trying to store into this particular DB okay some suppose this also is one of my DB this is a SQL server DB all the transaction related and the subscription related information I am trying to store into this particular DB all the transaction all the product related and similarly all the user related information I am trying to store into this particular DB this is the DB number 3 ok as of now let us try to understand with the help of this particular DB similarly I have a multiple DB where actually I am trying to store our data all the account related details all the transaction related details all the product related details all the user related details that is coming into a multiple DBs ok now till here I think we are fine with our uh, over the requirement ok now what is our problem statement is like we have a data that is available in a different DBs now after that the data engineer roles comes into the picture what actually data engineer try to do is like they try to bring into a common space because the data is available into a multiple space so we try to bring into a common space and that uh, that common space we actually try to call as a data leak we try to call as a data leak okay so we can use amazon s3 we can use a blob storage similarly we have a multiple data lakes and all where actually we try to bring our data from a multiple db into common space and this all the activity who does this all the activity is done by a data engineer here the data engineer roles comes into the picture so we'll say data engineer bring all the data into a common space because we want to use that for predicting something or we want to use it for the some kind of the business and business decisions and all to bring all the data into common space so that is how the data engineers comes into the picture okay now till here we are fine okay we have a data that is available into a data lake now suppose this is one of my stakeholders and this stakeholder is saying like hey I want I want information about how many users who are purchasing my product on a weekly and the monthly basis weekly and the monthly basis okay he also want to know what is the behavior of the user whether they are engaging with my particular feature or not which particular feature they are using more 
so this all the information the stakeholders they want to know now we have all the data that is available into a data lake now what data engineer will do they will try to do a some kind of the cleaning and based on the some of the use case they will try to develop a data set they will try to develop a data set with the help of the some of the use case okay so here only they will try to use a PySpark data bricks this all the things come into the picture here only they will try to build a specific data set based on the certain requirements okay this can be user uh, level data set this can be a product related data set based on the requirement we will try to develop it and based on this data set we will try to develop a reporting reporting means we will try to use a tableau power power bi and all and we will try to show this is to stakeholders so that they can take a decision out of it okay so this is one of the use case which actually data engineers involves they actually try to bring all the data into a common space they actually will try to uh, do a some kind of the uh, some kind of the data set building and they will try to do some kind of the, the data cleaning with the help of the PySpark data bricks and all and they will try sometime they also involve into a visualization activity also okay so this is one of the use case now let us try to understand one more use case okay in another use case what actually happening okay so this kind of the activity which is happening when you have a data that is available into a different DBs okay now suppose you are using a IoT device here the continuously streaming data is coming streaming data is coming okay now you have to handle this particular streaming data and you have to store into a common space okay that is also another kind of the use case you also have some you also should have some kind of the architecture which can handle the streaming data okay for taking example okay suppose this is my one of the IoT sensor device which is continuously uh, sending a data okay now what actually data engineer will do they will actually try to build a some kind of the architecture design okay where actually they will try to store and they will try to handle the streaming data and they will try to store into a common space which we are saying the blob storage and all okay so how actually they do they actually can use uh, some kind of the streaming services like we can use a kinesis kinesis in uh, aws we can also use a event hub flume so this all the things comes into the picture with the help of this all they actually will try to bring into a common space into a blob storage and uh, later actually the all the cleaning activity will come into the picture and based on the business decision we can take so this is also one of the architecture diagram i hope you have got a idea about it okay now so I hope you understand about based on this particular use case similarly we can have a multiple use case sometimes the data engineer also involved in a migration activity okay they actually try to bring all the data and they actually try to migrate the data from on-prem to the cloud space that is also work of the data engineer similarly we have a multiple use case okay so I hope you have got a clear idea uh, as we will move further we, I will try to explain more about it whenever we will try to learn the Azure services and all okay